1.6 describing pairs of angles. Complementary angles are two angles whose sum whose measures sum to 90 degrees. A picture could look like this. A 90 degree angle with a square in the corner and you can split this into two pieces where this is angle one and angle two. It's also possible that the angles are separated. You could have one angle over here at 20 degrees and one angle over here at I'm sorry 70 degrees and these two together are complementary. The complement of one angle is the angle measure that will add to the two angles to 90 degrees. A supplementary angle is two angles whose measures sum to 180 degrees. A way to remember the difference between supplementary and complementary is that C comes before S in the alphabet. So alphabetically, complementary is smaller than supplementary. So this is the 90 degrees and this is the 180 degrees sum. So C comes before S in the alphabet. So 90 comes before 180 in size. So here's two different pictures. You could have one obtuse angle, let's say it's 100 degrees, and then you could have one almost 90 degree angle and 80 degrees. So these two together are supplementary. Or you can have a straight angle. Another name for a straight angle is something called a linear pair. The root word of linear is line. So the picture starts with a line, a straight line. It's a straight angle. So this is 180 degrees, so you can split this into 80 degrees and 100 degrees, and these make a linear pair. This picture comes up a lot. Linear pairs are very frequent. They, are a, they sit right next to each other on a straight line. So you're looking for a straight line. The supplement of one angle is the angle measure that will add the, the two angles to 180 degrees. Next is called vertical angles. This is when the sides of each angle form two pairs of opposite rays. Oops, sorry, couldn't see that. The sides of each angle form two pairs of opposite rays. So the picture typically looks like this, where it kind of looks like a bow tie shape. So we've got one line, one straight line, and it intersects with a second straight line. And I'm going to number these. We've got three, and I'll call this four and five and six. So this angle three is vertical to angle six. And what you need to know is that vertical angles are always congruent. So we mark it with arc marks. Vertical angles are equal. So then um, also uh, three, and six, 3 and 6 are vertical angles and also 4 and 5 are vertical angles and equal. So you can see that three and, 3 and 6 are two acute angles that are equal and 4 and 5 in this picture are two obtuse angles that are equal. In addition, if you cover up the bottom of one of these, there is a straight line. So 4 and 6 are a linear pair and three and five are a linear pair. So in vertical angle pictures, there are also linear pairs re uh, represented. Adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are angles that share a side. 
So it looks something like this. You can just have uh, one angle and then it can have an angle going through, angle one and two. There's no math facts. There's no math fact that's true about their size always, but you use angle addition to find the X values on problems like these. You can add two angles together and find whole angles. Example number one, identify all the linear pairs and all the vertical angles in the picture. So I'm just gonna make myself a little uh, list here. So we're gonna find linear pairs and the vertical angles. All right, so let's take a look at the diagram. We're looking for linear pairs. So I'm looking for a line. I'm looking for lines, straight lines. So I see two of them. I see one right here and I see one right here. So we're looking for vertical um, linear pairs along those lines. So I'm gonna look at this line first and I notice along this line, one and four lie along that line. One is acute and one is obtuse. Looks kind of like 80 degrees and 100 degrees. So we can say that one of the linear pairs is angle one and angle four. Let's see if there are any others. So that was one line. So then let's look at this line. This line has two angles that lie on this line, four and five. You would not say that two, three, and five are a linear pair, even though they lie on a line, but you can say that two plus three plus five equals 180 degrees, but you would not call that a linear pair. Now let's look for vertical angles. So we're looking for two lines that intersect. So these two long lines intersect, and I can see that one and five are across from each other, and they, to me, they also look the same size because they are the same size. Angle one is congruent to angle five. You would not say that angle four is equal to two and three, but you can say that four is equal to two plus three, but you would not call that a vertical angle because there's two on this side. If it had just been four and then two plus three was maybe like six, then you could call those vertical, but not in this case. Example two, name a pair of complementary angles. Complementary means they sum to 90 degrees. So we're looking for two angle measures that sum to 90 degrees. Well, the two smaller ones here, 37 and 53, those do sum to 90 degrees. 37 plus 53 equals 90. So then two pairs of complementary angles could be B, A, C, and R, S, T. Name a pair of supplementary non-adjacent angles. So non-adjacent meaning that they are not next to each other, but they sum to 180 degrees. So now we can look at them 127 plus 53 is 180. So then our two uh, supplementary angles could be CAD and RST. Name a pair of adjacent angles. So again, adjacent means next to each other. So the only two angles that are next to each other are these two. So that's um, angle BAC and angle CAD next to each other. Example three, find the measure of each angle in degrees. Now this picture has two angles on it with expressions, but they don't give you a whole. So in your mind, you must pull out the whole. QS, QRS is a straight line. This is a straight angle, which is also called a linear pair. And what do linear pairs sum to? 180 degrees. So we can sum these two angles to 180 degrees. 3x plus 5 plus 10x 
minus 7 equals 180. And now we can simplify and solve. 3x and 10x makes 13x's. 5 minus 7 is negative 2 equals 180. Plus 2, 13x equals 182. Divide by 13, and x equals 14. And now we can use that to figure out what the two angle measures are, the acute angle and the obtuse angle. 3 times uh, 14 plus 5 is 42 plus 5, which is 47 degrees. And then 10 times 14 minus 7, 140 minus 7, 135 degrees. So now we can make our little uh, statements. So the measure of angle, QRT, that's the acute angle, is 47 degrees. And the measure of angle TRS is 135 degrees. Example four, draw the figure and follow the prompt. Angle LMN and PQR are complementary angles. Find the measures of the angles when LMN equals this expression and PQR equals this expression. The key word in this direction is that the two angles are complementary. Complementary means that they sum to 90 degrees. If you look at their angle letters, you can tell that their vertex is not shared because one of their vertexes is M and one of their vertexes is Q. So that means that these are two separate angles that are complementary. So one of them should be pretty small. Uh, we can call this one L, M, N. And then we can draw one a little bigger, P, Q, R. And those are just a guess. It's possible that my picture is not to scale. We'll find out. So then this guy, LMN, is going to be 4x minus 2, and PQR is going to be 9x plus 1. And these are complementary, so when I add them together, they equal 90 degrees. 4x minus 2 plus 9x plus 1 equals 90. 4x and 9x makes 13x's. Negative 2 and a 1 make a negative 1 plus 1, 13x equals 91, and divide by 13, x equals 7. So then when we substitute that back in, we get 4 times 7 minus 2, <clears throat> which is um, going to be the 26, and then 9 times 7 plus 1 is going to be 64. So then our answers are the measure of angle LMN is 26 degrees, and the measure of angle PQR is 64 degrees. <clears throat> okay, final question, multiple choice practice. In the figure right, point B lies on AD, so on a straight line. What is the value of 3x? So when we look at this picture, we can notice that there's a 90 degree angle on this side, which means that these three angles are going to sum to how much? Those three angles sum to 90 degrees. So x plus 2x plus 2x equals 90 degrees. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus another one is 5x equals 90. Divide by 5 x equals 18, and they want to know what is the value of 3x. So 3 times 18 is 54. So C, 54. Thank you.